Derek Young at K-State Online here with Kansas State Target in uh, Fairview High School. Defense alignment, Braden Wood, a uh, heavily recruited player. Uh, Braden, first off, just thoughts on your recruitment and how it's going. Um, it's going great. You know, it's kind of a surreal moment for me, you know, kind of seeing my brother uh, doing it growing up. Um, it's kind of one one of the things that I kind of asked for, or inspired to do. Um, after him, you know, kind of see him as a role model. So kind of to follow in his steps and, you know, kind of do the same things that he did. Um, it's definitely a great moment for me. You know, I'm enjoying it right now. It's a really fun process. But, you know, it can be stressful at times. You know, everybody has, you know, that kind of moment in time where it's like kind of it's kind of too much. But at the same time, you know, I can't complain about it. You know, it's been a blessing in my life. You know, and I'm enjoying it every day. All right. You're a defensive lineman. Would you view yourself as a defensive end or a defensive tackle at this point? At this point, I would say I can either go both ways. You know, I've kind of been packing on the pounds, you know, <clears throat> so I can go both ways. You know, this year I played a lot on the edge just, just so you know, they have to, you know, double team me to kind of create more space for the backers. But, you know, they also move me inside. So, you know, they kind of have to double team me, but I'm still making plays in the backfield, you know. But, you know, in college, you know, I'm about 260, 265 right now. So they can either shed the weight or they can put 10 more pounds on. I can play that three technique and play the end. So wherever they see best for me or wherever I'm, you know, kind of balling at. One of those schools that does like you a lot right now is Kansas State, and they offered uh, probably a few months ago at this point, uh, and I think you have a visit set up there uh, for, for the month of March, I believe. Uh, what do you hope to get out of that visit? Um, I kind of want to find a home away from home. You know, that's kind of my biggest thing, you know, when, I, when I'm on this kind of recruiting process. You know, I want to find a home, you know, because I'm going to be there for the next four to five years of my life, you know, because um, I do plan on staying, you know, four to five years. You know, I want to get my degree, you know, and kind of set myself ah, life after football, you know, kind of a big thing too. Great education, you know, great town, you know. Um, find coaches that really want me for me, not just, oh, they're going to be – here you know for football and that's it you know honest they're gonna be kind of like my pseudo parents you know when i'm gone kind of be that mentor in my life um for the next four to five years um but no I, i'm excited about it you know kansas state's a great place you know i've heard a lot of great things from a lot of people um you know jake rubley one of my best friends growing up played football together just recently committed there um you know he's trying to been you know getting me there um heard a lot of great things about it you know he had a bunch of offers you know he said the best you know I had a bunch of SEC, ACC schools, you know, like me, but he said I wanted to be at this place for a reason, you know, and, you know, I can't wait to get up there on the 19th. Coaching staff-wise, I think the coach that probably recruits you the most is Coach Klein. He kind of has t taken over the state of Colorado for the Wildcats for quite some time. Uh, just thoughts on Coach Klein, how he's recruited you and how he resonates in this state. You know, he recruited me from a young age, you know, my freshman year, you know, he was in here, you know, kind of recruiting a lot of guys here at Fairview, but, you know, <clears throat> met him at a young age, freshman year, you know, coming in that sophomore year, kind of continued to build a relationship, you know, junior years when they finally pulled the trigger. Um, and, you know, it kind of took off from there, you know, texting close to every other day, you know, kind of getting everything set up, kind of continuing the recruiting process, you know, he recruits the area and he does it well, you know, he's got one of the top quarterbacks in the nation, you know, he's doing a great job with it here in recruiting the 303 Mountain State, so great guy you know have no complaints about him he's a good guy all around you know love talking to him and glad to see where the relationship's going to go from here what other coaches do you hear from a little bit from kansas state obviously you do it's line recruit you might hear from coach white or coach Tui or even coach Kleiman. uh what are those interactions like and who do you speak to in addition to Klein? Um, definitely the head coach. Um, you know, when I first got offered, you know, he got on the phone with me and kind of made an emphasis of, you know, you don't really see a lot of head coaches calling guys in specific than offering them. You know, you'll see maybe like GAs, you know, um, like your specific like recruiting coordinator or, or, you know, D coordinator, like your position coach. Um, but, you know, getting the call from a head coach, that you know that means something. You know that offer is real. You know they want you, you know, um, you know, just – in general. Um, and then, you know, of course, the D-line coach, you know, we stayed in contact. You know, he really wants to get me up. We know we set up the dates. And, of course, the recruiting coordinator, you know, he's kind of he's kind of hammering down every day, you know, sending me edits and graphics, you know, you know, making sure we're staying in contact. He just added me on Snapchat. So we're snapping ch or Snapchat back and forth right now. So, um, you know, everything's cool. You know, everybody's hitting me up, uh, like, every new day, a uh, different coach. So, you know, it's awesome. I love how, you know, they're interacting with me and, you know, making sure stay in contact. If it's not just one coach, you know, it's two coaches every day. I've learned that you also have some ties to Kansas State, maybe not you know direct ties, but some uh, connections there. You, if you want to expand on those, that'd be great. Yeah, so my uh, my uncle played with a uh, coach uh, Kleiman or or not Kleiman, uh, uh, 
Coach Klein. Yeah, yeah. Coach Klein. Sorry, you know, um, played with Coach Klein. Um, you know, they've they've known each other for a lot of years, and you know, he kind of he kind of you know kind of first introduced me to him, and you know, he's like, well, once I got the obvious, you know, this means a lot, you know, especially I know how he coaches, you know, I know how he plays, you know, what type of recruiter he is, so you know, he kind of my uncle, he kind of set a big stone for me once they offered me. Mm-hmm. And then your grandfather is kind of likes the Wildcats too. You heard a lot from him. Yeah, you know, he he really wants me to stay close to home. Um, just because <clears throat> he doesn't get to see my brother that much. You know, he's three hours away from home all the way out in South Carolina. Um, so he definitely would like to see me close an hour flight, you know, seven hour drive from here. So he would definitely want me to stay close so he can come watch me, you know. He's watched me since, you know, I was you know, in kindergarten playing flag football and you know, I think one of his biggest things is kinda of see me play in the collegiate level. I know it's early in your recruitment a little bit, even though you you are taking it seriously, but I guess what schools stand out if you feel comfortable with that at the, right now with the, just a few schools that are maybe stand out or just one? Um, you know, Washington State, you know, just offered me, the, you know, Coach Cooper's at Wyoming. You know, we had a good relationship there. Um, so I'm excited when he got the chance to Washington, or Washington State. You know, their old staff was crewing me heavy. Um, but now he's on the new staff Washington State, and it happened really cool. So we have a good connection, uh, me and Coach Cooper at uh, Washington State. You know, ASU, you know, they're doing a lot of good things. Coach Pierce out there. Um, and then I think uh, Louisville, I just got back from a visit there. You know, everything was great there. Um, but, you know, that's probably my top four or five schools right now, kind of narrowing it down day by day. But, you know, I just I want to kind of decide to decide on my family, you know, kind of wrap things up by the end of spring, maybe beginning of summer, so I can focus that whole summer on just getting prepared for that school, but most importantly, getting ready for a state championship run with my with my team here. And of course, Kansas State's probably in that top four, top uh, five with, those, with yeah. those three schools. Yeah. So that probably puts a little bit of pressure on this visit to Manhattan, right? Because it's going to be – maybe the the one time and the last time before you make a decision that you'll be in Manhattan. Yeah, so hopefully, you know, get up there. We'll probably get up there two times before I make the decision. If not two times, then my official, you know, if they do officials around then. Um, but, you know, those that's Kansas State, definitely my top school, just because, you know, all the coaches have been communicating with me, you know, just been showing love to me, you know, kind of treating me as a person first rather than oh, just this big football recruit. All right. I appreciate your time, Braden. For Braden, I'm Derek Young at K-State Online. Be sure to tell your friends.